Hello, Geminis. I'm going to look into your situation. Whatever the cards want to say. It could be about love. could be about money. Exes, new people. Just whatever comes through. As always, if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at dragonenchantress at awol.com. My email is in the description box right below this video. Just bear with my camera for a minute. It takes some time to adjust when I put the cards out. As always, donations are also appreciated. All my information is below in the description box. We have... Mutual feelings, emotional depth, truth, and clarity. Publicity, social media. So I think someone... To me, I feel like this is... You thought that this was one-sided. This person might be shy, insecure, awkward. Um, could be in a third party. I feel like... What I'm getting here is that you misunderstood them. I feel like something took their attention away from you either a third party or a um, just something that was distracting them. I feel like some of them might also just be kind of shy, insecure. And I feel like you're going to, I feel like this month you're going to realize that those feelings are actually mutual. The truth is going to come out possibly on social media or through some kind of message. We have sadness. We have finances and career. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, I'm getting for some of them, they really didn't know that you had feelings for them. Like, they didn't fully understand it. I feel like in your mind, you felt like you made it clear. But maybe this person, it's just like they didn't fully process it. I just get the sense they didn't completely realize that you were serious about them. This could even be like an ex. Like, you know, if this isn't a new person, I feel like it could also be an ex that you talk to. And you might have tried explaining that you would give it a second chance, but I think in their mind they felt like, you know, there's no way you'd be able to forgive them. There's no way that that things could really get back on track. But I think they're going to have some kind of epiphany this month is what I'm feeling. Beauty, mystery, enchantment, pride, and stubbornness. Yeah, there was some kind of miscommunication here. I feel like you might have been waiting for this person to chase you and they were waiting for you to chase them. It's like you guys, had the, the feelings are mutual. Like you guys both have feelings for each other, but I just feel like there was some kind of block. And once you rec recognize that block, I feel like it's something that's going to be really easy to clear up. And so what I'm getting from this, the overall energy is that this month, you or them or, or probably, you know, probably both parties are going to be recognizing that there's this this very simple block, this miscommunication. And once that's cleared up, I feel like everything starts moving forward for you too. Because it looks like there's some kind of pride and stubbornness. Like, like you guys both want to talk to each other, but for some reason you're not. And I almost feel like maybe you were trying to play, like maybe you were trying to be kind of like mysterious or enchanting and kind of pulling them in. And maybe, um, like for those of you that are dealing with a new person... Like maybe you were kind of trying to pull them in, like you wanted them to make the first move, like, and it just feels like they didn't really fully um, grasp that. Like they had a lot of pride, they didn't recognize that. But like I said, for others though, I do feel like this could be an ex, where it's like you're trying to show them that you're willing to give them the second chance, that you're still invested in this, that you you do want this to continue on, you do want another chance with this person. But I feel like for some reason, it's like they just haven't been, it, it's like it's not registering. You know, it feels like in the past, it's like maybe they were just too insecure. I feel like some of them also um, had a lot of depression. And I feel like they were also kind of focused on money. Like they couldn't, they couldn't, some of them couldn't really like focus on their own issues and their own pain and their own depression because they were sweeping it under the rug and they were just focusing on, you know, survival, just maybe having financial issues. Maybe focusing on, on school or on career, um, just trying to get ahead. And it was kind of like a defense mechanism where they didn't want to face their pain. They didn't want to face their issues. And so I think some of them kind of suppress their emotions and, and something's happening this month that's going to shift that so that they can kind of, you know, see clearly and recognize what what's in front of them here with you. 
It just feels like miscommunication. It, that's like the overall energy I get is just this miscommunication. Like you guys, you know, you have like the feelings are there. The feelings are mutual, but I feel like you didn't realize they were mutual. I feel like this person's behavior, I feel like maybe not for all of you, but I want to say for a lot of you, maybe you're used to being chased or maybe you're just at this point in your life where you want to be chased. You know, you've become more confident. And so you're at that point where you're like, you know what, I'm not willing to to sacrifice um, that part of myself anymore. You know, I'm going to I'm going to stay in my power. I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm not willing to chase someone anymore. I want to be chased. I want to be pursued. I want someone who makes the effort for me, which is totally understandable. But I feel like maybe this person you're dealing with is very attractive, um, very charismatic. So I feel like maybe they're used to people chasing them. So that's kind of, I think that's kind of the issue for a lot of you is that you were expecting or wanting them to chase you and they were wanting you to chase them. So it's like the feelings were there, like you guys wanted to be near each other, but you were both too prideful to make the first move or to say, I love you first, or to say, hey, I want a second chance. It's like you guys both were kind of holding back, you know, your emotions for each other, um, waiting on the other one to, you know, solidify this. But I feel like, yeah, because there's some kind of breakthrough that's coming in. There's some kind of truth, clarity, some kind of epiphany. That's I feel like is taking place in the not too distant future here because, you know, here we have end of the pattern or cycle breakthrough freedom. So I think something is going to come to light. This could be for some of you, I feel like this could be like a mutual friend that's just going to tell them like, oh, yeah, like she he or she had a crush on you for forever. Like, like you didn't know that like you don't like you don't recognize like you didn't notice the way that, that they look at you. You didn't notice the way that. Like, how, how do you not notice that? Like, there might be, like, a third party, like, a, a positive third party, like, some kind of really, um, like, angelic or just positive, like, an earth angel kind of energy is the energy I get. Some kind of really positive influence, I feel, that might come in here and either talk some sense into you or talk some sense into your person here. You know, there might be something, some kind of truth here that I feel like is just coming to light that you guys didn't see before so it could be a mutual friend for some of you that's going to tell them you know like hey like this person's liked you for a while I can't believe you didn't notice it so I just feel like this person just feels oblivious to me whether this you know for some of you it's it's the the general energy group but there's there's for some this is an ex for others this is a new person I think that you know what your story is I mean if this is your energy group um but it's just like this miscommunication and this oblivious energy I get from this person. Some of them, I mean, some of them are insecure, but some, like, I feel like a lot of them aren't even necessarily insecure. They're just, like, not very bright when it comes to picking up social cues. I almost feel like some of them could be even a little cocky because it's like, why do you have to make it so obvious? Like, why, why do they have to be chased? You know what I mean? Like, why have they been in that mentality of like, oh, if someone wants me, they'll they'll put everything on, out on the table for me. You know what I mean? Like, why didn't they meet you halfway? Those are the questions I'd be asking because it just feels like like they were kind of aware of your interest. Like if this is like a new person, it feels like they're kind of aware of your interest, but they weren't 100 percent sure about it because they're used to being pursued harder than that. Like they're used to people that are just like all over them or people that ask them out. Um, if this is an ex, it just feels like, like maybe they thought you were just having an emotion, like maybe you said something to them and they thought like, oh, you're just, you're, you're just nostalgic or you're just, you know, having an emotional day. You, you might not really mean that in the long run. Like some of them feel like they can't gain your trust back or they feel like for whatever reason, it's like this person just feels like if you really wanted them, you would pursue them harder. Um... Or like sometimes like when you say things, it's like they don't believe you. It's really weird. It's like it's like you might have even said like, hey, like I want, you know, I want another chance here. I want, um, it's like trust issues, I guess. It just, it's feel like it's like this weird energy where they just, they doubt it though. For whatever reason, they've been doubting it. But I do think that that's going to clear up because um, we have publicity in social media. So it could just be something on social media that. It could even be like a meme or something that you're going to show them or that you're going to share online. 
or like something that you're posting possibly like if they're on your social media maybe you've been venting and maybe they're going to be like oh like they're going to have like that aha moment you know I'm just getting like the thing is I'm, I'm feeling like they're used to a certain type of person they're used to being pursued they're used to um they're just used to like a different type of energy and so you're really mysterious to them like you're very enchanting very beautiful but also very mysterious and it just feels like they can't read you and it's like, to you, I feel like you feel like it's obvious. Like, I feel like you feel like you've made your feelings clear to them. And I just feel like this person is like, I don't know, like there's, there might be different communication styles here. It could be something like that. Like, I feel like it could be something like, like maybe your communication style is you express love through touch. And this, this person might express love through like buying people things or through, um, through like verbal communication, like there's different love languages. So I almost feel like this could also be a situation where you guys have two different love languages. So it's like you're trying to show your emotion by, um, let's say if your love language is touch, it's like you're trying to show your emotion that way. And there, there isn't. It's like they're not. They're not. They're not. Um, re they're not just not understanding it. It's like, you know, and they're trying to do something, and that's their way of expressing love. But you know, to you, that's not your love language. So you're just like, why the hell is this person like? you know, buying me all this stuff, or why is this person, like, not that physical, but they're, they're very verbal with how they feel, or they're very, you know, it's like, you're, you're, you guys are just kind of, like, you both have the feelings, but there's some kind of miscommunication is the overall energy I get here. I feel like you guys are going to have these epiphanies this month, where you're going to, you guys are going to realize what this is, and you're going to be like, oh, wow, like, the feelings are still here, you know? This could even be a situation where you might have um, been talking to someone and it's like they didn't know that you were interested in them. Like this could be something like I want to say the one that got away. But for some of you, this could be a new person that was like into you and you were into them. But like you guys just never talked that much. So it, like it didn't get off the ground. And maybe they got kind of busy and they were depressed and they were dealing with a lot. Or possibly this could be you as well. You could be depressed and kind of putting your, you know, putting all your, your energy into work. Um, but like maybe you guys were kind of talking a little bit here and there and, and flirting. But, you know, they got distracted or you got distracted. And then the other party thought, well, you know, they must not be that into me. Otherwise, they would have asked me out or they would have done this or that. But I feel like someone might have just been kind of oblivious. Like they felt like you guys were flirting, but they didn't know that you were like really that into them you know what I mean like they knew you guys were like casually talking but like I don't think they recognized that you were really trying to get them to like take you on a date or or make a move like I feel like there was some kind of um just some kind of like weird disconnect there there's some just some, some kind of miscommunication it's like very it's a very innocent misunderstanding you know um but yeah when this clears up I feel like I feel like you know you guys are gonna have this breakthrough and you're gonna be like oh wow like this the feelings are here like that's you know, like you didn't, you know, it, like you guys didn't realize it. Clubs and parties, social life, cold, guarded, distrusting. Yeah, either the secret is coming out, I feel, through mutual friends or through something you're going to post online. And it could be something about your personality, like online. Like you might post a meme or something like, or you might vent or do something that's that kind of lets this person know like, oh, like this is how their personality is. So they weren't trying to be distant that that was just you know they were busy or they were distracted or they were going through something like oh I didn't get you know some of them felt like like I don't even know if they felt rejected necessarily they just kind of felt like you weren't all that into it um like they were just yeah it was just like this weird energy where they were just oblivious and then I feel like a lot of time went by where you were kind of waiting them for them to message you first and they were waiting for you to message them first and so you guys were just kind of in limbo for a really long time where it's like you both really wanted to talk to each other, but you know, no one, there was like maybe the issue of pride here for some as well, where it's like no one was really budging. Um, but yeah, as always, if you want a private reading, email me. My email is below in the description box below this video. Um, my donation link is below. Donations are appreciated. But yeah, all that info is below in the description box. So you can just email me. And I'll do a reading for you. I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute video reading. Um, they usually go on longer than that. Like a lot of times, you know, if there's a lot of information, sometimes they'll last 45 minutes or an hour. 
But um, but yeah, that email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Yeah, I feel like the divine is intervening here. Because for some, I almost feel like this person felt like you're just really flirty, like you're the life of the party, you're maybe extroverted, or you come off, you could be like an introvert that comes off very extroverted. Like some of them just thought that you were guarded, like they thought... It's almost because there's there's a few it's like the same energy group, but I'm getting like a few specific stories here as well. For some, this is an ex and you let them know you might have like gotten drunk and messaged them or something and you let them know that they have another chance. But for some reason, that's a specific story I'm channeling for for a couple people here. Um, for some reason, I feel like they just felt like like, oh, she, like he or she was drunk or they were they were having a bad night or they maybe have like a third party situation going on. So they're like, oh, yeah, I bet they didn't really mean that. Like, I bet that's just, you know, temporary. Like, they probably don't really want me back. They don't really want to try. They're just feeling nostalgic for some reason. Like, they didn't really, I don't know, like, they didn't really trust it. They didn't really believe what you were saying for some reason. Um, but yeah, for others, I just feel like it's a new person where... It's like you tried to flirt with them and it's like they, yeah, it, it just feels like they they thought that you would pursue them harder if you really were into them. They're used to being pursued and you're wanting, you're either used to being pursued or you're wanting to shift the energy and be pursued for a change because you're always in situations where you have to do the pursuing. So now you're changing things up and you're like, no, I want to be pursued this time around. But I think maybe it could also be that this person is could be confused if you guys are like in the same friend group because they might have seen you with exes and seen how you like pursued and chase these people. And so they might just have it in their head like, oh, if this person really likes me, they're going to do the same thing they did with their exes. They're going to pursue me like that. But little do they know you're you're in a, this new um, this new new mentality, this new perspective that you have where you're not willing to chase people anymore. But I don't think they understand that. I think they think it's just natural for you to chase people. So, you know, they're seeing you not chase them. And so they think it means you probably are not all that into them. You know, like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a situation where you guys kind of flirted. Some of you could have met this person at like a bar or a club or something. Um, we do have that energy here. But it just feels like one of those situations where it's like it just never took off the ground. And it could have. That's that's the sad thing. And this could be someone from like a while ago. This could be someone from like, like maybe you guys haven't talked for a long time and they're still on your social media. And you're like, you're wondering why they haven't hit you up. You're They're wondering why you never hit them up. Like, you guys are both kind of like, well, I thought there was like an interest here. But it's like you you both waited for each other. You both kind of misunderstood each other. But yeah, I feel like that I feel like the divine is intervening. I feel like this person has a spirit guide or it could be mutual friends that are just intervening here to show that yeah, I feel like someone's going to apologize and be like, "Hey, like I was I I was shy, I was stupid. I didn't real like I was afraid of rejection. I had trust issues. I didn't realize what was here. I didn't realize you were actually all that into me." And they're going to yeah, they're they're going to open up to you a little bit here. Yeah, some of them could be in like a third, there could be a third, like you, maybe you're in a third party situation for some. Like you could be leaving a third party situation or they could think that you're still with someone and you're not actually with that person anymore. That's for someone specific here. Yeah, someone may, may probably misunderstood here. But I think once this is cleared up, yeah, you're going to have like a love offer coming in because this hidden truth is going to come out. And there's potential. Ooh, there's a lot of potential here. We've got potential life partner, true love, vulnerability, receptivity. Yeah, I think letting go of your pride on both ends is the key here. Like, I know it's, I know it's frustrating when you're trying to shift the energy and you want to be pursued for a change. But, and like, I get that, but I almost feel like maybe get things off the ground. And I think this person will pursue you more once you guys take that first step. You know, I feel like I, like I said, if this is like a, like a mute, like a same social circle, I feel like maybe this person for some reason, maybe it's something about your personality or things that you've done in the past that they know about that makes them feel like you would pursue them if you were interested. So I think you kind of have to find a way to let this person know, like, hey, that's not me anymore. Like, I am interested, but I'm not going to chase you. You know what I mean? Like, kind of, you, you, there needs to, you guys need to clarify this. 
because there is still potential here and your spirit guides are coming back around to give this a second chance and get this off the ground because there was, I mean, I feel like for a lot of you, like for some, this is an ex, like I said, but for a lot of you, this is like a new person where it's like, you guys maybe never even had sex or held hands or did anything really. Like you guys just like had that chemistry and that spark, but you both waited for each other for too long. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a second chance here. Um, yeah, anyway, feel free to email me if you'd like a reading. Uh, any donations are appreciated. Um, I appreciate your comments and likes. Please share and subscribe as well. You know, maybe someone on your, on your social media needs to see this as well. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.